That's the first image that Vikram's camera has sent to us, the first image we are getting from the moon. In fact, I'm seeing uh, you know, four sets of pictures that have now been tweeted out by the Indian Space Research Organization. The Twitter handle is giving uh, uh, almost minute-to-minute -minute updates. In case you're interested, you should track their Twitter handle as well. Uh, what ISRO is telling us is this. The communication link has been established between Chandrayaan-3 lander and the ISTRAC at Bangalore. Uh, ISRO is then again putting out pictures and saying, here are the images from the lander horizontal velocity camera that has been taken during the descent. So during the descent, the camera was active, took pictures, and those pictures are now being beamed back to Earth to the headquarters in Bangalore, the first images that Vikram is sending us. And you'll see millions and millions, uh, at least lakhs and lakhs of such images that uh, Vikram and subsequently Pragyan will send to us as well. Again, uh, the Vikram is there stable on the South Pole, assessing its entire environment. It's only after that we are being told, and I'll get in uh, Dr. Vinod Kumar here, it's only after that, uh, Dr. Vinod Kumar, that Pragyan will actually come out. So how much time should we expect uh, uh, Pragyan to come out? Will it be in a few hours? Will it be in a couple of days? How does this work? First of all, Ms. Sreya, Madam, and let me congratulate uh, all countrymen for the nice emphasis which they have shown. It's really a textbook launch, and we are really very proud that all our logics which were there even at the last moment, I would like to mention that terminal descent phase, wherein it has to retarget, means it is taking images from images, lander, hazard, hmm. detection, and avoidance camera, and onboard logic is deciding, no, this is not the place for you to land. You go other place. It has chosen its own place. So this is the kind of intelligence ISRO scientists have built in the lender. So it gives a great pleasure to congratulate, and this is a marvelous feat, I can say. I don't feel many countries have such kind of logics mm -hmm. and such kind of uh, technology. Nobody gives you this. Now, as far as rover is concerned, it will start functioning. First, it has to come out. And then it will start functioning. So we are expecting tonight work is already on and team is uh, on the job. You will keep getting update rightly from the Twitter handle. Uh, and that's very interesting to note. I would like to tell that, yes, it takes a lot of time for because it has to first uh, open the door, deploy the RAM, then slide on that very slowly. It is one centimeter per second, you can imagine. So very, and it will look around whether you are all right, images will come, it will move slowly. So it takes time. But yes, it's very wonderful day. Mm. And really India has made it and we are very proud of their achievements. We can see, we have seen the last year uh, launch also, landing also, and this year. It was marvelous atmosphere. And we really thanks so, all the people for the support, affection, and love song to the space community. Okay. Real great and excitement. Yes, uh, yes. Thank you and so I'm much. I'm sure ISRO and its scientists are feeling the love today. Uh, I'm sure ISRO and the scientists, of, or all the, their scientists are feeling the love today because uh, this is a, a community that works very quietly. This is a community that works away from, spot, from the spotlight. This is a community that is in their labs. You know, we saw pictures uh, of ISRO scientists such simple people, they're people like you and me. So many women standing there in the crowd. Look at, look at the message it sends out, really. You know, before I step into a quick break, look at the message, uh, Dr. Selvamurthy, this sends out. This tells us this is the work, the hard work of normal, ordinary, hardworking citizens in this country. That if you aim for it, sky is not the limit you can reach space as well. And to many young girls, as we see a lot of young women there in the ISRO crowd as well, it says science is not just for the boys, it's for the girls as well. So step out, step out of your boundaries and step, you know, just step into the world of science. It can be absolutely beautiful and rewarding as well. Look at, look at, look at all of us today, congratulating and cheering ISRO on, isn't it? Absolutely. So this is the, uh, particularly the children, 
many of them will, the talents will come to science and technology. Such happenings has a lot of uh, the impact on the young minds. So this will attract people to take science and technology as their profession and also bring new innovation, take challenges. So the, they will see the excitement, what is happening. It leaves a very, very uh, memorable impressions on their mind. So I would expect our Indian science to have leaps and bounds, pole vaulting to newer heights, achieving many things. And I'm also happy to see that the good images coming from the lander, not only during landing, the first image which has been received also indicate their communication, which is perfect. But this, the, uh, normally what happens when it lands, the lunar dust comes up. It impacts two, three things. One is the cameras, which you put on the two cameras, which are there. The cameras will also dust may settle down sometimes. Then the next thing what will happen is because it has charges, it will stick to the body. So the body of the uh, lander, so that is another challenge. So, but then all this have been probably taken care of so that the pictures which you get so good, beautiful and precise, and that shows the health of the system, the Victor, uh, the Vigram, and also I'm sure the lander uh, and the rover both are healthy. And we hope that tonight, this will, the rover will just roll out gradually into the lunar surface and do start its experiments, open up the solar panels so that it gets the energy. And then it will do for the next 14 days, it will be sending very wealthy data information down to the ground station, which will have not only importance to our country, but for the whole globe and humanity. So I compliment once again, and thank you, Shreya, for giving this opportunity to be here on this show. Compliments to you as well as uh, your mirror now, which is doing a great job, because this is how the psyche of the people you. gets excited. You, you are exciting the mind, heart, and soul of everyone. So thank you that for this. And celebrate successes. Media should always celebrate successes like this. And you will change, complete the I thinking, think so the psyche, psychology of the people that you celebrate. Because there are many bad things that are happening. That is okay. But then if you start celebrating, all that negativity will go away and positivity will be manifested. Thank you so much, Shreya. And thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Selvamurthy. Thank you very much for joining us. And Dr. Vinod Kumar, thank you very much for joining you. us as well. Thank Today you, is a day to be positive and celebrate. Yes. And Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you. Thanks Thanks to all of you. Yes, that's how all of us feel today. Uh, I'm slipping into a quick break on the show. Up next, we are getting an exclusive chat with the man of the moment. Well, Vikram is the man of the moment for the moment, but the other man of the moment, uh, that is Mr. S. Somnath, the chairperson of the Indian Space Research Organization. He's spoken exclusively to the Times Network. That is coming up next for you. Do stay with us. Policy Bazaar pe bike.